Good evening, hello, I hope you see me and hear me as well, so let's continue then our today presentation, it's the, it will be just a second, I'm trying to make it here. So, yes, yeah, so sorry about that. Some technical uh, thing here, but let's continue. So our this year's last presentation about um, about a revolutionary new age technology 21st century technology which is called skyway and uh, we will see again in uh, in the next year but uh, today as i promised you we will take through all the seven steps very briefly i will introduce you the late news as well and at the beginning and i try to uh, explain very quickly all the important details briefly and uh, hopefully we will see all the seven reasons why skyway is here to stay why is this the technology and then uh, well here we closely and then um, do action even so yes very happy to present this technology to you my name is michael i'm from estonia and i have been an investor in technology for more than four years now and as well for the last years i have presented skyway technology both in estonian and in english which so but uh, just <laughs> just a quick uh, look to the today's date as well 22nd uh, december 2022 uh, is the year so it's kind of a magical date we have so thank you again for being here tonight at our late last presentation this year but all right this is the technology we're going to talk about this is pre-stressed string technology which is developed by uh, well, an in engineer and scientist, uh, Dr. Anatoly, he is from Belarus. And at the moment, we have two demonstration and certification centers. The first one is um, in Belarus. It was, well, the construction started 2015. And uh, today we have about seven different track structures there. And well, as well, and they're all also certified by Russian and Belarus standards. Um, well, yes, um, as well as we have another uh, demonstration and certification center. Well, as well as uh, what I meant to say was that we have seven different track structures al already certified, as well as different models. I believe it was uh, seven or eight different models, which are also certified by GOSTs, which are the Russian and Belarus standards. And the second innovation and uh, well, the Verification and then the demonstration center locates in United Arab Emirates uh, near Dubai. Uh, actually, it's the Emirate which is called Sarja, and uh, the place itself where, where the Skyway track structures are, are located and the certification process goes on in Sarja Innovation Center. So that's about uh, that. It, the, those both are big land land areas landscape escapes there so but but totally different climate uh, climate conditions one we have plus 30 in the summer and minus 30 in the winter time and uh, in united Arab emirates we know that we constantly have 
uh, hot weather, but in the summertime, the hot weather goes up to 50 degrees. So therefore, there are different um, the different challenges, so to say. That's why I, I always like to quote myself that the Belarus is like a window to the eastern countries, and the United Arab Emirates, the Sarch Innovation Center, is like a window to to tropics like Indonesia, India, Vietnam, and so on. And of course, Europe is yet to be uh, discovered or, or, or certified by, by European standards. But all right, uh, we know that we have one 400 meter track, which is already certified. We have a tropical unicorn, which, which goes there on, on that track structure, does it, the verification processes basically runs. Uh, beneath the structure and uh, and it's also certified so we have one certified track structure in united arab emirates and one certified uh, tropical unit to the model for c that model but now we need to or, or the plans are to to construct actually the construction is all finished to construct uh, altogether three new track structures but tractor number two and track number four are already ready and there those two and half actually do 1400 meter long track structures on which there will be a cargo which is meant for for sea containers so the heavy heavy structure heavy track and the other one will be will be for for a uh, well for the model which will hold more than 100 people on board at the same time because at the moment, the tropical unicorn is meant for four people, as well as we have, uh, well, we have these unibuses, which are meant for 14 people, but um, we still need the models, which will, will take on board 100 people at the, at the time. But yeah, this is how the, now take a look at back to the screen, and this is how, how the uh, testing center would like. So it will be like this. This is absolutely revolutionary technology, the sea container one, because today we have, in parallel, we have uh, trucks which take sea containers, which are very low, uh, slow, and well, they have to compete with the traffic. Then uh, there are mandatory drivers and, and all that, uh, traffic jams and so on, so on. Uh, but, uh, well, the another one is by cargo ships are also, Tremendous slow paced, and, and then we have trains, a little bit maybe fast faster than, but still quite low. So the average speed is about 20 to 30 kilometers per hour. But with Skyway, we can take it up to about 150 kilometers per hour. So, and we have totally our own track structure. We do not have to compete with the first of our infrastructure objects like cars. All the other, well, which cause traffic jams and accidents and so on. So we are all on top of those, on top of that infrastructure, and therefore, well, it's it's a free free road drive or take cargo. So therefore, we we have much much um, well benefits here comparing with with uh, other transportation systems. And uh, one another thing is that we can use both sides, the upper side and the side down low at the sensor simultaneously so that's also uh, very fantastic yeah and now the track uh, number four this one will be as you can see here on the slides the track structure is being lifted it shows that yeah here it is and and you can see on the right side there that the picture down below on the right side of the picture there are the track number four uh, track, uh, supports the road structure supports and track number two is here in front of you with the crane left yes here it is the turning points and as you can see it, it is also quite massive but soon i will show you some uh, alternative transportation technology similar like monorail and and uh, some else and those then you will understand how how great this infrastructure here is because it's so mm, thin and then the layers are they are not so massive and, and even though they look like at the moment when we have not seen comparison with but but they still they are absolutely fantastic 
Yes, so we do. And now the certification process, the fourth track has begun, and that's also great news. And all the certification processes have to be completed before we can go on the market to sell this product to potential customers and clients. So that's why we need this certification process. All right, now to the next part. Yes, because uh, I, I just wanted to comment that also, I won't show my picture at the moment here live. I'm still here behind the screen, but I want to show, show it to you because um, somehow it, sh it will start to reconnect. Then I have lighting cable, but don't know what, what, what's the reason behind it. But then you know that I will show my face again. And I hope that's <laughs> fine for you. And then you can concentrate more on the presentation as well. But all right, let's continue. Mm, as you can see here on this slide, I always like to describe that. Well, this picture was made about 100 years ago and should describe uh, present time is what we have at the moment. But what I like to describe is that today, if we compare this picture with 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 nowadays we have all this first level infrastructure we have all these cars tramways trolleybuses trains uh, bicycles scooters electrical cars and so on we have covered well 100 times this we have tens of different uh, technologies which all run on the same layer on the same ground floor then we have at least in developed countries and bigger cities we have underground uh, subways metro stations, uh, um, track structure, so with this below ground infrastructure. And now we are at the moment where we're at the point where more and more people still come to the cities, the uh, population in city, inside the cities grows. So therefore the new challenges come up and we cannot just tear down the old buildings uh, to widen the roads for, for new vehicles or dig more uh, tunnels because we have already done that. So therefore, the only reasonable uh, way to solve these emerging problems or challenges is to go to the next level, so to the second floor. And that's what Skyway is here to do. And people also have done it, uh, tried and done many successful, well, rideable vehicles. As you can see here on the right side, for example, that's monorail. Just take a look at how massive it is. I will show you another picture here as well. You can see how massive this one and the supports themselves because supports have to hold all this way above. So therefore it's it's very necessary to, to construct those very massive, very strong. And then, uh, well, yeah, I, I believe Monorail is one of the main, not competition, but uh, similar alternative projects that has been done already. But now they uh, look how they look, for example, the, the track structure itself, as I mentioned, uh, Skyway has very thin layers. It is, it's just so brilliantly designed and it looks very beautiful. Then the tracks, uh, track land itself is unlimited unit with USD. USD means Unitsky String Technology. And uh, it's unlimited and, and it's one of the stream as well or the ideas to build a transnet network or infrastructure which basically connects tens of thousands of uh, of uh, skyway second level string transportation track structure so we could go basically anywhere with the same technology but then the max speed as i mentioned to you earlier as well with the cargo containers or the sea containers it's more than 100 kilometers per hour or, and inside city, the models, as you can see on the slide as well, that's uh, unibus. Then we have uni unibikes, unibuses, unicars, tropical editions. As well. those all go up to 150 kilometers per hour, and it's meant for well driving inside the cities. And uh, well, if if you comment a little bit about them, um, a little bit about uh, speed as well, then. It's unlikely that we will reach 150 kilometers per hour. It's even very difficult with the subways uh, because there are many stops on the way and therefore it's not reasonable to accelerate in such rapid pace. 
and then uh, slow down again and then again accelerate then but 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 there will be some medium kind of uh, average speed that will be most reasonable but there are many other aspects why the speed isn't even so necessary with skyward because if you take a look at the traffic interval then uh, If you look at the traffic interval, then you can see it's after each or every 20 to 50 seconds. So basically what it means is that after every 20 seconds, another model will, uh, will depart from, from the station with new people on board. And that's possible because we have this automated uh, self-intelligence system here that we do not have any driver on board but it's all remotely controlled and it has all these 306 cameras which constantly screen the surroundings. So it basically has this intelligent uh, system integrated already into the models and track structure to screen and monitor every move of, of, the, of the models and then uh, get the response and feedback from, from the system. But then we have this depot stations where normally people do not go, but where the models go to recharge or to get some maintenance or, or overlooked by the mechanics and then the, well, who, who does that? And then uh, basically just there reloading. And when, when um, at, at some specific times in every day, when there are more people at the same time in the stations, well, for example, the rush hours, for example, then these models, which are reloading, charging in the depot station, those will come also on the track structure and start serving people. And when they are not needed, they go and park and uh, charge there again. So therefore, that's uh, that's what it meant. It's, it's like autonomous system traffic capacity can can be much higher than it is with monorail or even with metro stations yeah here it is one picture of, of metro station this one is a wuppenthal it's located in germany and then there's also one one example of second level uh, road structures. This one is basically like a tramway by its technological uh, well ideas, but it's just side down in China. So, so and now this cable car on the right side, that's one of the most popular, which is also being in, uh, over the world. I have seen it myself and uh, ride it with many places in the world. Mm -hmm. And it's similar, well, it, it's basically the same by its technical aspects, like we see the, like we see them in ski resorts, the cable cars. So basically, if you take a look at on the right side, the slide here, the orange wheel, that's like an engine and it spins and therefore the cable moves, but the cable cars themselves, they're stewed to the same place or they're staying very, very strongly at the same place all the time and the cable moves because this orange is in one end or the other end, those will, will spin. And that's the uh, technological idea, but the average speed is very slow. It's about 20, well, it's even less, but about average 20, 10 to 20 kilometers per hour. And if something happens to the orange wheel there, or the engine, then all the track structure is out of service at the same time. So therefore it's quite dangerous as well. And more for touristic attractions, but here it is. This is Skyway. These are unique cars and uh, um, they run 100% on electricity. They have their own motor wheels, derailment systems, um, and they move on the rail structure or underneath but the rail structure itself stays <laughs> at the same place the, all the time. So it doesn't move itself, but the models 
on it or under it move. And as you can see here on the picture, there are these elements in front of the nose and in the back, and, and those will attach with each other 100%. So if it happen, if the battery dies, something with the motor wheel or, or whatever reasons, then the, another motor can uh, attach it to, to the broken one and either pull or lift it to the maintenance or the, or the nearest station. So yes, welcome to the new age. It's proud to say that because it is absolutely the 21st century technology and, uh, and uh, there is no argue about that, that it has fulfilled all the necessary requirements because it already has multiple certificates. It's just a matter of time when it has all it needs to conquer the world. So therefore it's great, great to chance to be and investor as well in this technology. But now let's see the reasons why Skyo is here to stay. And of course, the first is innovative. It's absolutely new innovation. It never has something similar done before. I mean, by its technology, uh, uh, well, aspects, because it's all patented and uh, you can see all these patents in your back office document documents and so on and uh, and therefore it's absolutely fantastic even Siemens Siemens guys wanted to buy our model system but of course they their request was was politely pushed back and here it is the motor wheel and derailment system so it's like a spider basically if you put it upside down it, it stays very strongly at the same place. It doesn't well fall off or anything from the track structure. There was even uh, at the early days, five years ago or so, there was one accident. The, the tests uh, started. There was a tractor which drove in front of the same track structure what you see on this slide. And this, uh, at the same time, he drove there when there were tests going on. So. <laughs> The cabin of the tractor was totally demolished. Luckily, the driver uh, was uh, well stayed alive, and then the, well, well, so to say, not to him. But the, the tractor's cabin was totally demolished, and the unibus's cabin was a little bit off the shape, but uh, nothing fell off, uh, and it even even could move from one side or the other side after the accident. So. It also showed how strongly it is their um, sad accident, but but showed us the reliance of the technology. Then about the track uh, structure itself, so it's met frame around it. Then there are pre-stressed string inside it, and it's filled with a special filler. And it there even can be these tubes for, for example, internet cables, electricity cables, and so on. So to which we can take through the same structure, which you can see here through the filler. And, uh, well, it has to be placed, of course, before filling it with the, with the special filler, which will, will surround the noise and then so on. But yeah, there's a bunch of pre-stressed string rails. So it's like a bridge. Therefore it uh, needs so many supports, like after every 10 meters or 15 meters, but the, with the model which you showed at the beginning behind me and well, where is the, just the one and it, it, it's in the hanging position uh, underneath the line, then that track structure, because it's a lightweight track structure, those supports can be up to a few kilometers from each other. So that's a very long distance. Of course, it uh, depends on how, how high we also lift uh, lift uh, track structure. Yes, here it is a great example. This picture I made myself when I was at ECOFES 2019. It's basically one day which is sent for investors. All the investors are invited to come to the demonstration certification center to look at it with all their own eyes, to take a test trial with it. And so. But of course, because of the coronavirus and then the situation in the world, it hasn't been taken place past years. So hopefully it'll start, uh, well, we can go there sometime in the future, then 
you should come if you're in investor of course you should come because it's it's absolutely amazing and i got the chance to ride with that unicar there up high also it's about 12 meters uh, high and it's brilliant just the surroundings and taking well looking over the trees and looking what people do there and then it's just brilliant it's 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 really amazing and thinking that it's it goes more than 100 kilometers per hour and we can for example the 200 300 uh, kilometer road which we today need about two and a half three hours to to go from one point to another point but with skyway we can do it even faster and we can take a look from above to the surroundings and it, it's just it's like try, driving a plane or something it's, it's very 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 nice experience then the second point is it's ecological and there are many many things of course the co2 emissions which are the direct co2 emissions are zero because we run fully on um, electricity and then that's the that's it's a very, very great side again. Then uh, <laughs> these men there with the hats, those are called pushers, and their job is to, to push last people on the trains so they could, well, fill the train 100%. So just that's one of the reasons why Skyway is amazing, because we do not have to have these guys there and then th these conditions to, to for, for com community or public transportations so it's just a picture to 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 show you why it's ecological and then um, all the jams producing of the cars which soon will be well old metal and then they will have to be well made in something else or, or whatever that uh, how, how the process goes but but these are these are big big challenges, and uh, Skyway again can solve these problems, or at least help help solving them. Then the track coefficient is about ten times uh, less than with normal cars, and this is just like a wind resistance uh, level, and the wind resistance basically is, well the wind it, first of all the the shape of the body of Skyway is, uh, is so wind cutting that it's just brilliant. Again, it's meant to cut uh, as much as uh, possible, so the wind resistance would be would be taken to minimum. And, and another aspect is the screws. Well, if we drive with the car, we drive on asphalt or on a road, then the road road becomes a blockage of the wind as well because the, when the wind comes, it goes, uh, it wants to go beneath the car, but there is the road structures so therefore the resistance comes but with Skyway we are on the second level and under the rail structure absolutely uh, free way to flow then we have yeah all these uh, possible situations on the first level on the infrastructure which which won't be a issue, an issue anymore with Skyway transportation system yeah here it is the wind even the, we can survive in the earthquakes mm, pretty big amplitudes as well i think it was seven then nothing should happen with the track structures and it's it's absolutely safer because we are located on the second level we do not collide with all slow and infrastructure objects there won't be any traffic accident accidents so say or the traffic jams and then so on so that's why why skyway is brilliant it looks very great oh yeah and then when we want to build for example alternative for a skyway let's say in 50 years we think about oh we build trains then we have to dig about seven meters below the ground and fill it with special fillers that's why the craters uh, where, where they dig this material to fill the roads so seven meters has to be filled then it can be well the rails can be placed there and all the, all the houses which will stay in the way have to be demolished or taken down. And then, of course, this uh, this area, billion dollar area, well, the mountain explosion, <laughs> where uh, basically we have to explode mountains to, to build tracks through them, also expensive to do. But all right, 
it's great to say that we have come to an end with our uh, this year last presentation. And in the end, I always like to show you this um, picture with Talai Lama. I always like to show you this um, picture with Talai Lama, where Talai Lama gave blessings as well to Dr. Anatoly Nitskin, who is on the screen with Talai Lama at the moment, or on the slide. And uh, said that this path is not easy chosen, but it's very necessary for all the well, world, and therefore you will succeed in the end. So these positive words were given to, to Dr. Yunitsky by Dalai Lama. Yes, so next webinar will take place in the beginning of the next year, so 5th of January and uh, 6 p.m. local. So take a look soon and have a nice Christmas holidays and see you already in, well, in the beginning of, of New Year. So hell or yeah, an amazing end of this year. So goodbye.